Coloradans know that dogs are people too. And Denver's master plan calls for a dog park every two to four miles. We are well short of that standard. It's frustrating for dog owners who risk tickets by letting their dogs go off leash in these dog park deserts around town. In the last five years, Denver has added two new dog parks. We have 10 total. Dogs near downtown have multiple options for places to run wild, olfactorily inspecting each other's nether regions. But Denver's whole underside is woefully uncovered if you're a dog yearning to live beyond the leash. Yeah. Dog owners like Alan yeah. Cummings, who lobbied City Council and Parks there and Rec go. for more accessible dog parks, are left with the choice to either drive to them, keep their dogs under leash and key, or risk an $80 off-leash ticket. I understand the... the the need for policing and monitoring and laws and stuff, I'm not against that at all, but it just seems um, a bit hypocritical to, uh, to um, dole out citations so frequently if we don't have legal options to uh, take our dogs. There's one dog for every three people in Denver, many of them running like the wind in violation of the law. Animal Control has written 13,000 off-leash tickets in the last five years, $900,000 worth. Parks and Rec plans on opening a dog park at 16th and Josephine in 2017, and the city promises it will increase the availability of pop-up dog parks around town.